Hey, it's Elizabeth with Crafty Loose Creations. Here we go. Let me pull up the Facebook says I'm live, so I've had to pull that up and see what who's joining us. Hi, come on in. Okay, there we go. Hi, friends. Come on in. Good evening to you all. It's Elizabeth with Crafty List Creations. Come on in. I just thought I'd come on a couple of minutes early so people would find us. So we'll see who joins us this evening. I'm gonna, I, was, I thought I'd do a, test it out to see if there is anybody is going to join us. If there's any night owls out there, we'll see how many there are. <laughs> so how are you? Happy Thursday evening. Come on in. Oh, I see Donna is on here. Hi. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Diane. Hello, Anna. Welcome. Good evening. All right. So we're doing a fall, fall cross today. I, I always... um. I I do play uh, poinsettia crosses and Easter crosses and winter ones and I haven't done a fall um, cross so I thought we'd do one so thank you all for joining in and guys if you don't mind launching my arrow so more people can come up on in here and uh, see what uh, we're making tonight okay so again go ahead and put the camera down and uh, if you have questions, I'll go a little easy with it, uh, slow with this project tonight because, um, I don't know, this is my first fall cross wreath and I don't want to mess it up too much. All right, so I'll put the camera down right away. <clears throat> there we go. I hope that's a good view for you all. I see that it is. That's good. What if I move my up a little bit? All right, perfect. So, cross wreath. We're, we're using a chunky yarn. Yes, chunky yarn. And we're using a one and a half inch ribbon in the turquoise blue and yellow sunflower, yellow orange sort of base. And I thought we'd add sunflowers into the bow. So, I'm not sure I forgot where I got this yarn, this chunky yarn. It says Home Hardware Stores. Probably got, I got this a while back, so um, so I can't tell you where I got this. So, I got, but this one I got from Lady Fox Designs and Supplies. So, I do have my hot glue gun on because we'll need glue for this project. Okay, so it's, this is going to be a pretty easy and fun sort of project here tonight. So good evening to all of you. Thanks for uh, joining me. Wow, look at all of you guys, all of you little night owls. Hello, hello, Brenda. There's a lot of you on here. Thank you, thanks for launching my arrow, Brenda. Okay, so let's get started with this. Okay. All right, so again, chunky yarn. Kind of a brownish brown sort of a not sure burnt orange sort of color this one here yep so we'll set that aside and uh, open this up here it's a number number seven it says jumbo seven if that so maybe that's that's how thick it is i'm not sure but that's what it says on here it says seven Okay, just so you know, so it's 100% polyester, so this wreath cannot go outside. This is an indoor cross wreath, if you're interested. Hello, Gina, Jean, how are you? So I'm going to start on the outside. I'm not going to go in and dig through there like I'm uh, crocheting or knitting or anything like that. Because I think I'm going to cut this at 20 inches. This, because it's a 50-yard roll, 
I think I'm going to cut it 20 inches. Hopefully that'll be enough for uh, to go up in here. Okay, 20 inches. Okay, okay. So that's cut off. We'll put that aside. We'll get some more for the uh, other ends here after. Okay, so let's grab a zip tie because we need we need to attach this this part. Actually, these sunflowers are going hmm, just there everywhere, so it doesn't really matter for this where. I, if it's right side or 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 not so I'm just gonna attach the start the uh, of the start off the uh, the ribbon down here what am I saying here <laughs> okay. welcome you all thanks for joining me tonight hope you guys had an awesome day I did I had a great day, a relaxing day. Actually, I almost went live the, the, this afternoon because I was so bored. <laughs> because I really don't usually wait, um, don't usually go live at night. But I thought, since some um, people have been saying that they've been missing me, missing my lives, I thought, why not go on, right? So. Let me just leave just a little bit here. No, actually, let me glue this down over here. Yeah. So the glue gun is on. It's on low. I hope it's. I hope it's ready to go here. Or what am I doing? No, this way. I'm going this way. <laughs> okay. Let me glue stick. Let me glue stick. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue along the bottom of the cross so I can get the uh, this one started. I'm just gonna leave a little bit like that, about hmm, four inches, just so I might need it. Okay, just gonna start gluing that. That this is the slow, slow process, the slow part here. All right, so I'm just gonna put more glue along here. This is my first time doing a cross like this, so bear with me. Actually, I made one with a ch chunky yarn, but I used um, 5 8 inch ribbon. But this is my first one using a one and a half. So I have to take this slow. I think I'm gonna put a zip tie here just so it'll hold it. I hope this this will turn out. Uh, actually, that's a bad idea because my zip tie will sew over here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start wrapping it. So I'm not gonna attach the zip tie on there. So then I'm gonna start wrapping the cross Right. Just wrapping it. Put some some glue right there on top. And make sure the ribbon doesn't sew. You guys seeing this okay? Good. Okay. And then I'm just going to start wrapping it. Hey Ruth, hey Karen, hey Jean, hello Tammy, how are you all? So four time, four, that's four times I'm wrapping it. So I'm going to flip the ribbon over and then I'm going to wrap it again four times. It's easier. It's easier like this, I think. So, one, two, three, four. Where's my ribbon? 
What happened there? I think I did it wrong. <laughs> I wrote there. My first one. Uh, the genius at work made a mistake. What happened to my ribbon there? Here we go. Oh, I turned it around. <laughs> That's not the right way. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a teacher I am. It was on backwards. That's why I was messed up. Sorry, here we go again. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Okay, so now I can do I can turn it around. So now we'll see. <laughs> oh, did you see what I did there, friends? Oh my gosh, I knew this this was gonna be a funny, funny live here because I was having butterflies. I was telling my husband, why am I having butterflies? Why am I nervous? <laughs> uh, so there's there's four, four. I wrapped it around four times and then I'm going to flip the ribbon over. Make sure it's in the middle. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Hi, Gail. How are you all? Thanks, Jean. I'm just, I'm just a little nervous because I never go on in the evening. I, did, I don't know what to expect, so I'm um, just scared a little bit, too, because there's lots of trolls in the evening. And I don't like trolls. <clears throat> Lots of weird men been following my page. I've been deleting them too. I don't wanna. I don't. I don't. I don't need that. Weird men on Instagram. I mean, and I hardly post anything on Instagram. I don't know what happens. So I'm just gonna put it over to the side again. So remember, I cut the ribbon at 20 inches just to make sure that I had enough. So this is really, really easy. You can you can add glue in between in here from time to time if you want. You can do that. It's, it's up to you, but I'm sure I'm gonna be keeping this one. I always say that with my reads. <laughs> kind of stingy when I make something. Okay, so I'm making sure these are not that tight. They're a little bit Fluffed up. Okay, flip this over and do another four. Isn't that easy? So easy to do this. And I think I'll be making another cross here soon. Different kind. But I gotta figure out the center. So I'm just gonna put it over again and I'm gonna wrap it around four times so easy kids can can do this little kids flip it over and wrap it isn't that color nice already Ooh. love it have you have you guys seen someone make uh I like there's lots on YouTube. Um like um Thanksgiving cross. I haven't seen anybody make a Thanksgiving cross on the Unique in a Creek board yet. So I thought this would be good. Alright, so that's that. That's done. So these are too tight. I think I got them too tight. Oops. Yeah, there we go. And I can cut this off. I think I over measured it. What you need for this right here is, let me count this, 15, 16 inches, right, for the, for this one. Now I'm going to attach that with a zip tie right there on the corner um, hole there. Okay, and then we're gonna work on 
the sides and the top part. Same thing. If I can close this zip tie off. Oh my gosh. This is so fun, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, hi, hi friends. So look at that mistake I made over here. So this is why I left this one hanging so I can just glue this area right over here. And then that, that one, so we'll do that after. But right now, let's cut a little bit of a little piece again for this side. Let's cut off, let's do eight inches for this one. Actually, I need to put some on that side. Oh, it's to be on the safe side, I'll cut off 10 inches. Okay, and then we'll attach it and up to the back. Attach it to the back. So you need to be thankful for uh, Thanksgiving and uh, all the harvesting and all the... You need to be thankful. That's why I thought I'd make a cross. That that's a, a good way to be thankful is to make a cross. Right? So I'm just going to pull that zip tie into the... If I can. Into the... This one won't work. Oh my gosh. Oh well. I pulled it too tight. Okay, let's get this and start adding it again on this side. Hope you can see this. So add some glue. I'm going to add some glue right along the board. Leave some hanging, just in case I want to cover it up more. On this side. And these chunky yarn really stick to the glue nicely. They won't come off. Like I've had mine... Uh, my chunky yard, uh, yeah, yard, <laughs> chunky yarn cross. It's been hanging for almost two years now in my living room, and it still, still looks the same. And nothing. The only place you can't hang it up is outside, because this is polyester, and once it gets wet, it, it'll ruin it. Was I supposed to be putting it down here like that? Oh yeah, this way. <laughs> I got mixed up there again. Okay, let's add some glue again. Again, this is my first time using a one and a half inch. I forgot what I did with the uh, my uh, red and white chunky yarn cross. But I think this is what I did. Okay, we'll just flip this over. And then we're just going to keep rolling. I think you can make two crosses out of the, this one whole thing of uh, chunky yarn. It's a 200 gram, 8 to 7 yards, it says. It's 8 to 7 yards. So one, two. Three and four. <clears throat> and then one, two, three, and four. Can you all see that? I think I'm covering covering up the your view here. So making sure this is not that tight. You can making sure you can't see the board. And then flip this over. And then we'll wrap it around four times again. And four. And then this will be the last time I, I cut the ribbon too long again. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, guys, you guys can see this okay? That's good, that's good. Make sure that that's right in the middle. Good. And then we can cut this off. See how quickly you can make that once you get rolling? Hi. Hi, Wendy. Put the ribbon down first. <laughs> I almost made a mistake there. Thanks. But again, it's my second, my third time attempting to make these and I'll get it. I'll get it here. <clears throat> all got to learn together here tonight. So I'm just going to zip tie that. This little piece over here. And cut it off. Let's do the other side. So this time we're going to cut this a little shorter. Kind of cut it, going to cut it at eight, eight inches. Let's see if that's enough. So you need probably 15 inches over here and eight and eight. So that's not too much ribbon. Okay. Grab a zip tie. And zip it up. I love I love this the color of this yarn. Never seen yarn like this. I just I grabbed the, this color and a cream, sort of a cream yarn. And so I forgot that I had it, and when when I saw it, I thought um maybe should add some glue on down there. Um, I thought that this would be a good project for it. So you can see, turn it around. So this is what I do. What did I do on this side? This way. <laughs> I keep forgetting what I did. Right along the board I just came off from uh, going in the VIP group unique in the creek and um, I posted a wreath in there for wreath critique because I wasn't sure about it but now I know, and so it was a good idea. I posted that wreath in there so I get feedback on it. I do that sometimes to get a little help. Y'all watching this? Good. Glad to see you settled back in at home. Thanks, Judy. I am settled now. <laughs> uh, actually, I still need to do lots of, um, I need to clean out my set before winter. We need to. And so there's and we didn't get to do that in the spring. So, but I wanted to do that, throw some stuff out and, uh, you know, clean the set out and put more stuff in there, other stuff in there before winter hits, before the first snowfall, which will be any time because it's getting really cold here already. So, but it's still smoky. Like there's still lots of smoke happening. Um, there's still some hot spots here and there, and so, but they're not a threat or anything, I don't think. And then there's still fires happening out there in um, nearby towns, and 
And so there's still lots of smoke and thick smoke happening. And, and so um, today was, was probably the, the first day in a while we've seen uh, blue clouds and hardly any smoke around the trees. And, and so it was, uh, it was good to see that. <clears throat> so happy to see that. You, all in the, you know, you always wake up in the morning and see all that smoke. <laughs> all that, that smoke. Um, um, you don't see the sunlight. You only see the red sun. And, uh, it gets depressing, but what can you do? And so we got to see that little ray of sunlight, uh, sunlight today and lots of blue clouds and little overcast and it just it was just a beautiful day and, and it, the leaves are just churning and they're beautiful and I need to do, I need to get a autumn photo in <laughs> so there we go those sides are done so one more side we're almost there almost there friends so let's cut off um, eight inches of this again. So we'll we'll worry about the middle here once we get all this um, all this in there here. And so that's that was a beautiful day today. All right, let's do the other one. And I was cleaning downstairs, down here um, this afternoon. Uh, getting everything all set up here for you for this live. And, and uh, uh, after last night's live, I didn't clean anything up. It was all messy. <laughs> Not last night, but Tuesday, because I didn't do anything. I didn't do much yesterday. I was just, you know, just cleaning here and there and getting everything all nice, nice. And so I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't making any reads or anything. I was just taking it easy. And so I need some ties. I wonder if I should just add glue anyways this way. See, I know now. I know what to do now. <laughs> Like there wasn't, I, I do, um, what would I do? I would um, get my petals ready or my mess ready for today's live, but I figured I shouldn't because um, I wanted to show you. Uh, this was going to be an easy project. It's all about wrapping and gluing. There's no petals on this, so that's why I took it easy yesterday watching videos. I'm downloading my videos on YouTube because I haven't done that in a while. All right. That's not gluing properly here. There we go. All we need is just a little bit of glue. All right, let's wrap that again. So I believe you can make about two or three crosses for this project, for this much um, um, yarn and ribbon. It's so quiet here at the house. Hubby went out for his service calls. My, well, it's just me and my boy, my baby here. The kids are still at their moms. So quiet, so quiet. 
it's almost a little, almost seems to, a little too quiet sometimes because we're still getting over missing my, uh, yeah, getting over the grief of losing grandpa. You know, my hubby's dad. And it just seems a little too quiet sometimes. So four times, I wrapped it four times. And I put the uh, ribbon over, I wrapped it again four times. Four rows right there. I'll put this over again and wrap it four times. You know, back when I was crocheting, when I was used to crochet, I didn't have this kind of yarn. I never saw this kind of yarn. And then finally when I stopped, Sorry, I'm getting off camera here. And finally, when I stopped crocheting because my hands were hurting, um, I, these things came out, these chunky yarn. And now I saw that uh, uh, on, a, on a video one time, I saw that this lady was um, using one of those thick yarns, you know, using her hand to to weave and uh, to make um, blankets. I was like amazed. And I didn't know you can do that. <laughs> but then I I am um, I stopped, you know, stopped playing with yarn. And so that's when the, I started making reeds. So one one craft after another. I don't think we'll need this. We'll probably put that inside. So let's fix these because this one's coming out. I don't want it to come out, right? You need to add glue. It's unraveling. So what I'm going to do is add some glue. I should have started. I should have added glue when I started. I think we, I need to put a little bit of a little piece down there just to sort of hide that ribbon. Just running a bit of glue along there so I can glue this down here. That burned. That burned me. Hope you guys can see this. I'm just gluing the this side. Get this off. We don't need it. it just looks like a little piece of caterpillar. Look at that. <laughs> One more side, and then we'll make a bow. And then that'll be that. And I'll show you what you can do when you... What you can do when you make a bow. This way. That burned. Okay. Right, let's cut off some of this here. Don't need it. Don't need the glue. So 
And let me trim off some of this ribbon so, so we'll see the holes. Actually, we do need the glue. We need the glue down the ribbon here. So it won't, it won't come off. You guys seen this okay? Good. Glue, glue, glue. I'm sorry if you have any questions or not. Thanks, Jean. I, I hoped it would. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys can join me this um tonight. I'm sure it's a little later where you guys are. It's probably around, what, a little after 8 where I am. Or is it not 8 yet? Let me see. Um... It's 8.03. Perfect time. Perfect time for a bow. So let's make a bow. And we're going to add this. This is just um, random. I'm not going to use the leaves. They're ugly. It's just random. Um, you know. I don't know where I got these. So I figured we got, we'd add those in the bow. Not these green things. I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll put this aside for now. See how much you have left after doing one like that. We're gonna fix the, the back here. We're gonna add some more in the back after I attach the bow. I'll show you what I mean by that. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's not gonna be a big bow. Just a small bow. Get my crop pad ready. We're going to use the same ribbon with tails. 12 inch tail. Yeah, 12 inch tail. 12 inch tail. Here we go. Let's make a bow. I'll do a five inch loop since it's a small it's a small area for the bow to be on. Five inch loops. You all probably can hear the little music in the background. It's my 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 baby's um, game system that's making that sound. Probably forgot to turn it off. Okay. And do. And do two, two at four and a half. Four and a half, two loops on each side. Do a little. And you know what? I was gonna add these in between the bow. Rewind. <laughs> okay, so I was going to add it right in here. Add one in here. Right? I was going to add three. And then start making the, the four and a half inch loops. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> the four and a half. Two loops on each side at four and a half. 
and here's where I can add the the other um, sunflower. And these are not yellow. These are like, um, you know, almost the same color as this one right here. Like a cream color. So one loop on each side at four inches. It's going to be a little... Inches. And so I'm going to add this, this one down here, like so, and then put it down. And here's where I want, I should use a zip tie for this because, hmm, where my big zip ties are over there. I wonder if I can use two of these. Let's try that. Ha. And then I'll stand up for this. Maybe I should just zip tie it in here because I don't want my flowers to fall off. This is where I put my pipe cleaner inside there. My wreaths are making noise over there. They're falling. And I'm just putting the zip tie in, in through the, ah, the pipe cleaner in through the zip tie now. And zip them up. Get them off. There we go. There's the bell. Isn't that cool? I think that's the second time I added um, greenery or florals into a bowl like this. I thought I'd try something different. <sighs> It's better than glue, so now I can cut some of these off. And this one. There we go. And isn't that pretty? They look like they're coming out of the bow now. So let's add that onto the cross. We only use three. Okay. I like all that mess. Okay. So let's add this in here. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's not nice. I like that. <laughs> so cute. So now we can put our flowers where we want them. Just the perfect, perfect size bow for this project, I think. Perfect size bow. 
Isn't that cute, Donna? I like it too. So pretty, so different. So thankfully fall. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock p.m. in Boston. <gasps> Sorry to keep you up. Or are you a night owl? You all night owls? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this half camera. You know what I'm gonna do? I should have done that before, but I guess. I'm just gonna explain to you. So that's where the bow, put that back in the hole. So I'm gonna go back and cut some, a few pieces off and just glue them in the back. So it'll look finished in the back too. So I won't do that here because um, maybe you probably don't want to see me crush my bow because it's pretty. <laughs> I should have done that first before I touched the bow, but I was so excited. I wanted to see it. But so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut pieces off and just glue them in the back so it'll look finished. And maybe some down here because you can see spots, but the bow is covering it up pretty nicely. So, I won't bother with it. So, isn't it nice? It's something different. Something different for fall. Because I hardly see any fall crosses. And so, anywhere. So, I thought I'd do something fallish like this. And again, this, this can't be hung outside. This is an indoor wreath. So, if somebody's looking... And so that's all I got today, friends. So again, Nikki the Creek crossboard, some chunky yarn, and uh, ribbon. Maybe uh, you have some leftover ribbon that you want to use up. And this is probably the good project to uh, use up that leftover ribbon. Maybe little pumpkins, pumpkins, you know, um, for, you know, thankful harvest and all that. <laughs> so I'll lift you guys up. Hey. Okay. So that's my cross. A fall cross. Making a creek. Is where it's at. So how'd you like that, friends? Isn't that cute? I love the colors. This is sort of like a burnt orange color. It looks different on the on the camera. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Something different to do. The hair's a mess. It is adorable, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> all right. So thank you all for joining me this evening. I hope you enjoyed what I made. Um, I hope you learned something. And I hope you try to make something like this, like a fall cross. Um, something for you um, to think about. Get your creative juices going. Okay? So you guys take care. Have a good night. And I'll see you soon. Bye.